also, yeah, so importing and labeling photos um, and then timing all this stuff, right? How long does it, does it take you to import label photos? If you can, if you can use like text shortcuts with the text expander or whatever to label the photos. Labeling photos is probably one of the biggest things I, I feel like for adjusters. Um, Xactimate Mobile is a, a, a kind of a game changer, if you ask me. And um, I do have a training in Adjuster TV Plus for like soup to nuts, how to use Xactimate Mobile, where all the buttons are. Um, and then because every every trainer does things, they're a little bit differently depending who on who their like main students are. Like my main students are adjusters, not PAs or contractors. So my Xactimate mobile training is in the context of the claims process. So, right. So I have a whole section in there about like, all right, now that you know where all the buttons are, how to take photos and how to draw the sketches and stuff like that. Let's put this to work in the context of a full claim, including Xactimate X1 desktop. How do we get it out of X1? Um, how do we get it back in? All that kind of stuff. Um, so that might be helpful for you. Um, and yeah, an iPad with a LiDAR camera on it. I've got one in the other room, but um, the LiDAR is that little like optical, you know, range finding thing. And that's the thing that makes it so, especially if you're doing a lot of interior stuff, you know, you got a lot of water losses or fire losses. I mean, you can, you can diagram, get the diagram and the measurements for the room in one shot in seconds, right? And then you can take your photos, speak to text, right? And just say, you know, uh, Mike's bedroom overview, right? And just say that and it'll put it in there and then take the next photo, Mike's bedroom overview from opposite corner, right? And then, so you just move right through the whole thing. And by, by the time you leave that room, you and you can, you can drop macros in there, right? And you can write your whole estimate for that room. And then you look around the room, right? I got the, the baseboard, I got the crown molding, I got the, this, I got the dad, the carpet, you know, we're going to move the furniture out of here. We're going to put it back in. We're going to paint, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going to walk out of that room and close the door behind me. And I don't go back in that room. I don't have to go back in there for anything. And, I, and I'm right. done with, by the time I get back to the front of the house, uh, the estimates done, including the photos, because I can take the photos as I go. Um, and I think that That's amazing. as far as workflow goes, yeah, it's, it's, um, I think if you time it, it may the things that are going to speed up the the process is going to be the the lot using the sketch AR to to diagram and get the measurements at the same time because those are you know you have to like me to run your tape measure out or put pull your laser out and then you know you draw the room and make the shapes and everything and then you have to get all the measure that takes a, a while or it takes amount an amount of time but if you just mm -hmm. stand in the middle of the room and just bop 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 around the and tap the door tap the two windows um, then you're done with that part in, in seconds right and that that's that's a big deal. Um, so I think investing in a, in a good iPad, you know what, let me go grab it. So this is an iPad Pro. I wanna say it's uh, maybe a year and a half old, um, but we got this OtterBox case for it with a little like hand grip thing on the back. And you yeah. can just stand there. You know, you can spin it around however you want it. If you wanna do it like this, I don't know if you can see that, right? Or like this and, you know, Ideally, you're going to want to have a way to like just quickly holster this thing like on your hip or whatever so that when you're climbing your ladder or scrambling around on the roof, you get your hands free. I don't know that like, and you can experiment with it and let me know, um, but doing roof diagrams with this, I don't know if it's, it's best for interior stuff, um, but taking photos, I mean, it's like, you know, you just tap the button, take the photo and then just like add your label to it. Um, so you're not it's a game using, game. yeah. So you're not using like the D2, the Disto laser to do the measures. You're using I don't, a lot. Honestly, I, see, I don't see the point in it because this does it. This does. You don't need a laser with with the Sketch AR because hmm. it just it uses okay. the little sensor on you know, on here to range the the measurements of the room. I mean, it's not going to be like down to the sixteenth of an inch, but I think you're within an inch, you know, or two, as long as you're a little over and not under. I mean, nobody's going to, you're not going to get gigged for that. QA is not going to get, unless you were like six inches or a foot off QA, yeah. you know, it's probably not going to say anything to you, you know, if it's like within two inches or whatever. And a lot of, it depends on the carrier. Some of them will say within two, within three inches, let's say within an inch um, or round up to the nearest inch or whatever. Um, but okay, I think it's faster because with the, you still have to like pair the Disto with this, with Bluetooth, and then you have to like select the wall 
and then you have to, mm -hmm. you know, make sure that the wall is select activated, right? And then you tap your your disto to get the measurement, however you're doing it, and then right. you accept and right. Whereas with Sketch AR, it's just I'm just going to tap the wall with this and just like, and then it's done. I don't have to jack around with like, you know, oh well, why isn't it seeing the disto? And then you're standing there for 15 minutes trying to figure that out. That's the worst thing. When your when your gear doesn't talk to each other, like I tried to run with a a, a Wi Fi camera. Um, mm -hmm. This was way back in the day. It was like two thousand and five or something like that, and it worked okay. But sometimes, but most of the time, the farther I got away from it, the less it would work. Because I wanted it to like mm -hmm. just get back in the truck, and all my photos are in there. I can just label them. Um, right. But I didn't. I, I try. I messed around with it for about a week, and then I just couldn't get it to like be any faster than just throwing an SD card in. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three-level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Hague Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Hague Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for and everything else. Looking at you, bird poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at HagueEducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.